And let's have a go at painting on some stripes. No, no, why? Why do they... I, I learned from this man how to paint models and he's painting on his hazard stripes by hand. So yes, here we are once again, my friends, to look at people desperately trying to master the art of painting the Sons of Olympia, the Fourth Legion, the Iron Warriors. Because as it turns out, people really struggle with hazard stripes and painting yellow and painting nice clear black lines and not making the metal so dark you can barely see it. So why don't I, I figured I'd go back in time to when I started my Iron Warriors blog and there was one painting tutorial that I based my entire painting scheme on. And that was from uh, Sledgehammer Studios, I believe they're called, with the How I Paint Things Iron Warriors series, right? And we're going to watch that together now. Straight off the bat, didn't drill the barrel on the gun. You did, you finished assembling and painting the model, but you didn't drill the barrel on the gun? Decimation. Absolute decimation right there. A very special How I Paint Things. Now today we're going to do something a little unusual. I've got here one of the Chaos guys. He is from the Iron Warriors Legion. And he looks pretty cool. You know, very simple color scheme. But what I've done is actually to convert him by... It's so nice to see the old Mark III and Iron Armor kit being combined with the old Space Marine, Chaos Space Marine kit. Like, oh man, that's... It's so weird being nostalgic for things that are only stopped like a handful of years ago. Adding a couple of kits together. Now, I hadn't noticed that people, you know, hadn't done this. Now, also, where are the hazard stripes? Where are the hazard stripes? I vividly recall watching this video previously and he shows you how to paint hazard stripes. Where are they? Because they're not here on this model. A lot of the parts from this dude are from the Mark III Space Marine kit, which I've got lurking over here. Okay, let's skip forwards a bit. Okay, so here we go. The quintessential brown base paint layer and then silver over the top of that. Just leaving behind a little bit of paint on the high parts of the model. We're going to use the same technique, but we want a little bit more paint on our brush. And we're just going to leave that dirty dark brown in the recesses instead. So we want to make this model silver by being fairly generous and just avoiding the very deepest recesses. Don't worry too much if you're not covering everything, because... Honestly, I agree. This is by far the best part of painting Iron Warriors, because it is quick and it is gratifying, and you go, yes, I have done the thing. I've got paint on the model. Because we're going to fix that up as we go on. So let's get this fella. I mean, it's almost finished. Silver. Now that we've got a nice grimy, grungy silver going on. Let's get some Retributor armor. You can be quite generous with this if you fancy. Also, I've only just noticed, again, the gun barrel is not drilled out. Sledgehammer, my guy, what are you doing? You need to drill out your barrels before you start painting them. Come on. But for my guys, I like them to be mostly silver. So I'm just going to stick to a couple of areas of shoulder trim, like these areas on his chest plate. As you can see, because this covers so well over the silver, this is a really quick step. So just pick some areas you want to, you know, brass up a bit. Get around now and fill them in with Tributor Armor. Now this is a purely optional step. If you're looking to get these guys done in a real hurry, you might want to skip this. But I've got here some Avalanche Sunset, and I'm just going to paint in one of his shoulder pads in yellow. You'll see where we're going with this in a couple of seconds. And grab yourself whatever black you like to use. And let's have a go at painting on some stripes. No, no, why? Why do they... Oh. I, I learned from this man how to paint models and he's painting on his hazard stripes by hand. Why, you're supposed to mask it off. You're supposed to use masking tape to get nice clear lines and you're just going to brush it on like a savage. No. You were doing, like, th this is the thing. This is the video that I follow. This is where I learned how to paint my models. How could I, how could I have gone so wrong at the start? Always want to use your thumbnail as a palette. It does get you some strange looks in the street. Oh, that's not a straight line. <laughs> yeah, about that sort of thing. Oh, my guy. To try and keep these in a straight line, 
is rather than painting them across the model, you'll notice I'm holding it so I'm just dragging the brush down in one direction or... Because they're... okay. Okay. There are times when you're painting a bit on a model and the area you want to do hazard stripes in is either so small or so filled with trim and other details that it's not practical to use tape, right? I'll concede that. But by that point, when you're painting like a, a, a war smith on the, um, you know, the, the Lord Discordant on the, the Hellstalker or whatever it's called, when you're trying to paint like hazard stripes and some of the trim on the armor panels of the Hellstalker, yeah, you have to do it with a brush. But by that point, you'll have painted 20 or 30 regular guys with hazard stripes. So you'll know how wide to make the lines. But when you're just starting out, no, you should use tape. You should use tape until you get comfortable with this. The time. And then I move the model rather than the brush. Now this will take me a little bit to, to really fill in, but I'll go around in other areas too, like the other shoulder pad. And also, like, I appreciate this is a sign of the times, but what is what are we focused on here? You, the model's all the way up there. I can't see it because you're holding it out of the camera. I'm looking at your your thumb and your fingers and your ring, you know, more than I'm looking at the model because it's too high up. You need to bring that down. So what I'm going to do now is just pop on with three other colors and I'll put those in fairly random spots, okay? I've got here Bugman's Glow and that's going to be for his skin. Mournfang brown for any leather equipment and corn red just for any bits that I want to stand out a little bit. So now that's all those other colors added and I did add a little bit of Balthazar gold just into his magazine there and this little skull. You see variation in the metals always a top-notch thing to do when painting that is the correct way to do it because you're making the metals different from one another so it's not just one big gray Iron Hands model that you're looking at. I'll hang in there, but otherwise, simple stuff, flat colors. At this stage, if you wanted to fix up a shoulder pad, you could black the whole thing in. Um, our good friend Agrax Earthshade is going all over the model. You see this, Duncan? One wash. You don't need five layers of wash on the trim. One wash of Agrax Earthshade, the whole thing, and you're done, right? No great surprise, perhaps, but just get in there now. And you're going to really chuck this on. Get it into everything, all the crevices. Best part, stuff, okay? by you far. Put... And I'll put too much on. Now, after half an hour to dry in the sun, there he is. There is my dirty boy. And, you know, you, <laughs> you could put him on the table, base him up, and just get him going, all right? Iron Warriors, you cannot find a... Oh, but you need to drill the barrel on that gun, because that's terrible. ...simpler way of getting these horrible boys on the table. I mean, you could spray them silver first, but you'll miss out a little on this grunginess, okay? So I've got some scrag brown, and I'm just going to very quickly do in the edges of the leather. Okay, nothing too fancy here. Big, chunky lines. I think it'll look pretty good once it dries. Oh boy, that's a bright yellow on there, and isn't it? His base finished. He'd be done, you know? He would look pretty much identical to this fella here. All it would take is I've hit him with a uh, Mutatorium varnish spray. So he's a little bit smoother overall. But I would finish the video by actually basing the model because that is an important step to actually finishing the model. Until then, it's still not quite actually done. You're not there yet, but... Regardless, this is the template. This is what I followed for years, for years and years and years. And at some point, I'm sure I'll do a video where it's like, how to paint Iron Warriors video. And it's basically the same. There's been some minor changes, but... Oh, it's it's so strange looking back and just going, this is where I started. Like, this is how I used to do my guys. And things like the bright yellow highlight, like, oh boy, that jumps out at you. Interestingly enough, you can use that Uriel yellow or just a slightly lighter yellow from the Avalanche Sunset. You can use that to neaten up any edges on the hazard stripes. It doesn't just have to be like for beauty's sake. It can actually have a practical purpose as you're putting it on there to straighten the lines out, to, to narrow a band that's a bit too wide or to, to help widen one of the yellow areas that's a bit too narrow. But man, 
there's a lot that's changed over the years. For a start, drill those gun barrels because that's not good enough. At the same time, you, you need to mask off any hazard stripes, especially if you say you know you're not very good at that. You know, you know in your heart that doing it by hand is something you struggle with and you're even tempted to paint over it in black. Use masking tape. Decimation. No, no, I think considering considering where where it came from, it's it's a fine video. It's a lot better. It's a lot better than the Trevarian one. And it's it's leagues above the official games workshop speed paint guide. Like this is this is a lot quicker, I think. You know, even if you were to skip all of the highlight, you know, edge highlight steps and just leave it at layers, this is so much better looking, honest, honestly. So, yes, thank you again for watching, my friends. I will see you, all of you Legionnaires in the next video. As always, smash that like button and don't forget to leave a comment and subscribe. Thank you and goodbye.